Hello everybody, welcome back to Pow Pow Pew Pew Games. We're gonna get started here in a second. Now this is the intro to Munisaburg and the crime waves. We're gonna get our first crime wave here. So we have to go through the intro of Munisaburg and the crime wave in order to continue into story mode level two. So get ready. Here we go. Woo! Let's all just relax and try to make ourselves Yes, let's do this. So we're in the Parr family home, and that is our first mystery bag, I guess you can say. So those bags, basically, you collect them, and they will, you rip it open, which is a lot of fun, and you get a new character. So this is our first one, and of course there's silver bags, gold bags, and red bags. Gold bags, of course, are going to have the best characters. And we get Frozone. Yes! He's one of my favorite to use in free play. There we go. We're going to add him on in there. And then we're going to be going outside of the Par family home. We're going to be introduced to Munisaburg. Here we go. Uh, yes, you do help. You help a lot. Oh, there it is. Would you look at that? It's our city so already. pretty. Look at it. Now there are different districts um, where you have crime waves. And in each one basically there are the red bricks that are going to unlock um, some great abilities and you no longer have to pay for the red bricks so that's awesome. Or incredible I should say. But you also unlock some very key characters that you're going to want for free play. So, even though we have to go through this first crime wave um, after level one, you, I wouldn't recommend continuing into the other crime wave sections until you completed story mode. So, I would go through story mode and then come back to Munisaburg before you do free play and collect all the characters from the family builds and the Pixar family builds and the red bricks. And then you will be so ready for free play. You should have no troubles getting those mini kits. Alright. There we go. So you see the different districts. Outer Munisaburg is right there. That's where the Par family home is. And then we have the industrial, residential, financial, and tourist districts. And then Urban Heights, Docks, Downtown, City Park, and Waterfront. And we're going to head over to the Waterfront District to do our first crime wave. Which there, every district crime wave has, could have a different amount of missions. So, I believe the Waterfront District's crime wave has two main missions. So, we're going to get started on that. And then we'll be able to unlock our first family build platform. Woohoo! That's going to be exciting! All right, here we go. Now I'm not a great driver in these Lego games. I'll just tell you that right now. Yeah, I always smash that that mailbox. Oh, I love this part. Woohoo! Yeah, that is fun. If you can hit that ramp, I highly recommend it. Excuse me, sir, but you're in my way. Ooh, luckily I don't really drive like this in real life. I wish I could, but I can't. Yeah. Whoopsie doop. At the very end I actually get stuck, I think. I can't remember. Here we are. We're gonna go to a cutscene in a second. Yeah, right here. <laughs> right there. Yep, there we go. Yes. Today we have a real scoop for you. I just got a scoop. Uh, this makes me. This level makes me like not level, but this district makes me want ice cream. I want ice cream. 
Needless to say, <laughs> yeah, they're causing anarchy. Ice cream anarchy. <gasps> that would be a great ice cream, ice cream flavor, like next, name, anarchy. Ice cream owner Just have a whole Sunday bunch of messed up stuff in it. Okay, I believe there are two missions in the waterfront soon. district, like I said. Um, and we're battling some evil ice cream people. Here we go. Beautiful. Alright. Got Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl. Crime Wave active. You can go to your map, bring up the map to see where they are. You can always still zoom in with the right trigger. Um, but usually, I just use the little map on the lower left. Kind of tell me where to go. And we don't have to go far for this one. This first one. We're just right up here. Poor Benjamin. Aww. They stole his ice cream. There's a thief. Go get her. Go get her, Mr. Incredible. So really, you just have to run her down. Now, it gives you the prompt to hit B. I just never did. I usually just hit X. Her whole body will kind of highlight in red when you're able to catch her. Like there. Yes, get those studs. And then you return it to the little crybaby. See, there you go. Yes. Save the ice cream stalls. Says, yeah. You gotta save the three ice cream stalls. They're in different areas. You're gonna do this first one. You know, I kind of don't like the, um, this ice cream is where you have to repeatedly hit X. I can't remember what that move is. Jeez. Flurry attack. The flurry attack. It takes too long. <laughs> it takes too long. It's like, just destroy them already. There we go. Even though there was only one character left, I did the super attack. I should have saved it. I should have saved my super attack for the next... The next ice cream goons. Or brain freezer goons, I think is what they call them. Here we go. And you can just look on the screen. Those exclamation marks in the circles will kind of tell you which direction to go as well. That's right. That's right. Take that. Uh. They look like Pepto Bismol pink. Hmm. There we go. Save them. One more. Woo! Just follow that yellow exclamation mark on the screen. It's kind of towards the right right now. And this last one is actually on the rooftop of a, of a building. So, we're going to have to climb a little ladder. Oh, nope, I was wrong. Never mind. That's not, that's not yet. That's a different, I think that's the next mission. My bad. Great job, everyone. Yes, good job. He should have said, that's incredible. I mean, this is the Incredibles. Mission complete, one out of two. Alright, let's go to our second mission. Sally Sunday. Trapped civilians. Yes, we can help them, of course. Alright. There's one just right around the corner. You don't have to do anything special. You're going to get attacked by, you know, um, some enemies here. But you could literally just free him right away if you want to. Yeah, like that. That's it. Oh, flurry attack. Just... Yeah. Break him to pieces. Just do it. Like that. One more. There we go. Alright. Number two. If you look at your little map, it'll kind of tell you. You can either look at the little map or on the screen. It's easier to kind of look at the little map in the lower left corner. Um, kind of tell you where to go. There we go. Yes. Yeah. Use it now. Boom! Pow pow! 
He did an incredible pow pow. This is like one incredible super pow. And then we're gonna go. S this one is the one that's on t on the um, roof of a building. But it's not one of those super tall buildings. So we're just gonna go straight and around a corner. There'll be a ladder there. Get right on up there. We go. Uh huh. Uh huh. Pow pow. Pow pow. Take that. Yeah, there we go. That's a quick way to to get rid of him. Is just pick him up and throw him off the building or into the water or something. There we go. Return to Sally someday. Sally. Sally, we did it. Now give me money. Just kidding. <laughs> I think they should. Just give me money. Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh, they're still in the ice cream truck. No. Now we got to go save the ice cream truck. Yeah, they were. I think I went faster, though, to get into the waterfront district. Yes. Take them out. Take them out. They were pretty easy to get. But not very difficult at all. And then we get to drive the ice cream truck. Yay! You got it. Great. Woo! This ice cream truck and some of the other vehicles are kind of hard to steer. Like, again, right towards the end, I end up... I, I kind of crashed into the side of the building, I think. <laughs> whoop. Whoop. Turn right here. <laughs> Oh, man. There we go. We did it! They're stealing ice cream? My yeah, they're stealing ice cream. Mmm. Okay. Ice cream. cream. See ya, Sally. There's not a gold brick. And the second mission is complete. Now, just for future, um, for reference, future reference, some of the other levels after you do the crime waves, the main mission crime waves, um, they'll open up an extra, like, mystery mission that you need to complete. So they'll have the main missions and then a mystery mission that'll show up. There's a little icon, like, on the map, um, with a question mark in it. So you'll want to complete those. Brain freezer. Missing ice cream maker Shelly Sunday we go. still hasn't been found. Shelly Sunday. Sister Sally <laughs> is urging anyone with information to get their skates on and contact the police. Yeah. Woohoo! We did it! Crime wave complete. Alright, and another gold brick awarded. Yes. Ooh, and we got our package. Ooh, we're gonna get a character. Left thumbstick to the right to open, and who is it? Who is it? <gasps> Woo! Brain Freezer Monster Goon! Or, as I like to call them, Pepto Bismo Girls! <laughs> Ooh, and here we go, look! Our first family build, Pixar family build platform! Alright, see, so here it shows us the map. Um, obviously, they're saying there's a new crime wave in City Park, but we're not gonna. Well, we have to go there and continue to level two. Oh, part, we did it. Time to yes, we did. Celebrate a job well done. But we're going to go to the map in a second. And so after you complete each crime wave, it's going to unlock that district's all the collectibles and stuff in the platforms. See, all in there. And on the lower part of the screen, it's going to tell you when you're in that district how many platforms there are, how many red bricks. The You can see the waterfront district has 17 gold bricks, 3 red bricks, and 4 platforms, 3 races, and 1 crime I don't even remember stopping that one, but... And this one's a little confusing because I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but... Uh, it says four platforms, but I don't see two. One regular family build and one Pixar family build. So, I'm not sure about that. But yes, so... Once you finish story mode, go through all the levels of story mode, then I would come back to Municiburg and do all the crime wave missions and collect the red bricks that you want um, before continuing into free play. Okay? 
There we go. Nice. I don't know what I was doing right there. I really don't. I was looking for something, but I don't know what. I was looking for the mark to get me to. I'm continuing <laughs> in a story mode to level two. And I realized I just had to come back out of it and follow the blue ghost steads. Here we go. And continue story. Level two is going to be hover train hijinks. So that'll be in the next video. If you liked this video, please hit like and subscribe. If you didn't like this video, please hit like and subscribe anyway, because why not? Hitting like and subscribe will tell me how much you didn't like it if you didn't like it. And it also tell me how much you did like it if you did. All right, we'll continue into the next video, level two. Hover, train, hijinks.